Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and you might remember a while back I did a video shooting out three different fuzz pedals from three different brands that put out entire lines of somewhat affordable pedals. All at the same time, I'm talking about the JHS 3 Series Fuzz, the Maestro Fuzz Tone FZM, and the Fender Hammer Tone Fuzz. Well, Sweetwater has made it possible for me to do more of those videos, more of those comparisons across those three lines of pedals. In this one, I'm gonna do the Maestro Discoverer Delay, the JHS 3 Series Delay, the Fender Hammer Tone Delay, and the Fender Hammer Tone Space Delay. So huge thanks to Sweetwater for making this possible. They sent me the pedals that were holes in my collection across these lines, and of course, they're making it financially possible for me to spend the time that it takes to make four more of these videos. <laughs> I'm doing delays, then I'll do choruses, then I'll do overdrive and distortion, maybe not in that order. But anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna use my Pura Silver Sky SE for some stratty, single coil, twangy tones, and I'm not gonna use the two Princeton's rig because you might have noticed I've got the Black Star St. James stack behind me. I just got it in. I'm having a lot of fun exploring it, and I've been having fun combining it with the Tone King Imperial Mark II. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. They're both set to be just super duper clean, but the way they combine is really fun because the Imperial has this kind of like hollow, twingy, bright, slightly gritty character, and the Black Star has this kind of full, round, mid-push, kind of thuddy sort of thing going on. And I think they combine in a really fun way. So anyways, here is my dry tone, no delay, no drives, nothing like that is on right now. That's a nice clean tone. All right, let's get into this. Finally, some delay pedal action. Here is the Maestro Discoverer Delay. Besides having a fun name to say, Discoverer Delay, it's a really fun sounding analog pedal. You can tell it's analog because when the delays are all the way up, it gets this really kind of like dark, low fidelity sort of grit to the repeats. I knew I was gonna fumble that. I could feel it coming. Check out the range of those repeats. I mean, they get really super fast. for some spaceship sounds. I love that. That's like the whole reason to own a delay, right? I love, because it's low fidelity with those repeats, you get that kind of clicky thing when you do the, like the self oscillation. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> There's also a switch here to turn on modulation. modulation where it's set because it's kind of wacky and kind of cartoonish sounding in a way that I appreciate. See what I mean? But it does have 
internal trim pots, which I can get into real quick here. I've got the back open. It flips open when you undo the screws right there. And you've got two trim pots hiding right here for width and rate. I've never adjusted these before. The width is all the way up now. Let's turn the rate down pretty far. There we go. Let's see what we got now. All right, that depth has to come down. There we go, that's pretty. Let's do the most extreme setting, rate all the way up and depth all the way up. See what kind of trouble we can get into. see what happens oh that's wacky <laughs> oh that'll make you seasick bring the depth down considerably Now on to the JHS 3 series. Now this reminds me of the classic Boss digital delay pedals. I'm talking the DD2, the DD3, pedals like that. Like the others, you've got three knobs here, mix, time, and repeats, and you have a type switch. The top setting is a crystal clear digital delay. fudge that a little bit, but it's fine. And on the lower setting, it applies some filtering to give you more of an analog delay sort of sound. Let's max the repeats and see what we get as far as spaceship noises go. can have very different feeling. Oscillation, spaceship, freak out noises. Both of those, I like those a lot <laughs> for knob twisting. But no modulation on here. You're making a choice between a crystal clear digital delay up here. Which holds up on the longer times. And a filter digital delay giving you a analog style sound. Where it degrades a bit with each repeat. Still holds up really well. See 
what I mean? <laughs> On to the Fender Hammer Tone Delay. This one's got some extra options. This one and the other Hammer Tone, they definitely have a lot more going on. Maybe not a lot more. They've got three things more going on per pedal than these other two. Yeah, they have a mod switch, but they also have a type switch, a three position type switch. On this one, you start with a digital delay on the top setting. Max out that time. Bring up the level a bit too. Now this one's similar to the JHS in that it is a digital delay that has some analog style settings to it. You have a first analog setting here in the middle of type. It's a little bit warmer and darker. And the repeats hold up quite a bit longer. And the bottom setting is another analog setting that has more of like a mid push to it. that does the self oscillation, that does the spaceship noises, does it in its own unique and beautiful way. And that was great. That was really great. Oh, I had a good time right there. So here it is at its fastest. No one needs that. Well, I'll maybe do for like a doubling sound. Here it is midpoint. And here it is with the modulation, which has internal trim pots that you can adjust, by the way, just like the Maestro. That's a pretty modulation. Try that on the middle type. And on the full digital. It's interesting that even the full digital sounding setting, the crystal clear one, degrades in a really fun way. 
with a long feedback time like that. I wonder if that's from the modulation. <laughs> It might be. I think the modulation comes into play as far as how that signal degrades. So if you have the modulation on, it degrades in a different way. Yeah, the modulation must be stacking on those repeats until it just degrades into crispy, crunchy, noisy mush. Beautiful, beautiful mush. Let's check out those trim pots really quick. I've got to pull my little sticky guy off of here that holds it in place. The Hammertone line has a really cool case design in that you can open up the back with just a pick with a screw, I keep this one, I've been keeping this one finger tight, so I can just open it up. Just check out those trim pots. So you've got rate up top and depth down below. Let's max them out. Gotta turn the modulation on for it to work. There we go. Oh, that gets all the way wacky. Maybe pull that back a little bit. Let's go all the way slow with the depth all the way up. Needs a little bit more than that. There we go. Oh, there's some more seasick noises. Ah, come on. Back to a pretty sound. Yeah, I really like this case design. I think it's really clever. I hope they make a bunch more pedals in this line with that case design. Smart thinking fender. So let's get into the hammer tone space delay here. I'm sure it's got trim pots too for his modulation. Should I get into them? I don't know. But this one's fun because it does pattern delays. It's made to sound like a real deal tape echo that has multiple heads that you can turn on and off with two extra settings on the pattern setting. So the top setting is just a straight like 4-4 four, four tape echo here. <laughs> I like the tonality of it. tonality of this one a lot. This is a hundred dollar pedal, I think. I think it's $99. I could be wrong on that. It might be a little bit off. It has a great sound for a hundred dollar delay pedal. Check out some of those patterns.
and the second pattern setting. Well, I guess technically the third, the last pattern setting, the first pattern setting is a normal pattern. Even turn on the modulation yet. Let's check out the feedback first. Sounded like a robotic cow there for a moment. All right, <laughs> let's check out the modulation now. Beautiful, just beautiful. Let's see what settings I left each one on. I like that. For me, that's a very musical pedal. That's something I can have a lot of weird, wacky fun with. I mean, all of them are great. They really are. You get this really great, rich, dark, gritty, lo-fi analog delay with the Discoverer. You get that bright, crystal clear repeats with the 3 Series with, you know, a pretty decent analog setting on there. Then you've got a lot of variation with the hammer tone delay, just the normal hammer tone delay. You've got a modulation switch with internal trim pods. You have three different types, full digital, uh, and then two different types of analog style filtering on there. But that space delay with that like tape echo sound to it and that pattern repeat like galloping going on. And of course the modulation as well. I like that. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> All right, uh, let's have some fun stacking them really quick. And then I want to split them into stereo with the two amps, just for fun. So we'll start with this one. Love that clicky grit.
Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let's do the stereo thing now to close this out. So we've got the Maestro and the JHS going to the Black Star and both Fenders going to the Tone King over here. That's, that sounds good. I think we all had a lot of fun here, didn't we? And we learned a lot along the way, but more importantly, the delays were the friends we made along the way. No, that's not it. I don't, I don't think that's the way it works at all. <laughs> but 
anyways, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for sticking around for that nonsense, whatever that was. Um, please use the links down below. Sweetwater made this possible. I'll have links for all these down below. Huge thanks to Sweetwater for making this video and the next couple videos in this series possible. And you know what? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. Bye, everybody.